Hey guys, I'm designing something that just about anybody with a Bamboo X1e, P1p, P1s, and X1c would benefit from, but I'm a little bit conflicted about how I should start. I'd like to see whether my first idea of being able to integrate the design with the printer is the way to go, or if it should be scrapped to take a completely different approach. I'll be lifting the printer up, and normally adding something below a printer would be a bad idea, but with newer vibration dampening technology in these printers, can we take a printer like this and raise it up without impacting the quality of the print? Stick around to find out. I'd like to raise my printers up and I'll explain exactly why a little bit later on, but the first question is can it be done without affecting the quality of the prints? When we watch this printer while it's printing at high speeds, you can see that it does begin to shake a little bit and then all of a sudden it stops. These printers use input shaping and take advantage of accelerometers so they can reduce vibration showing up in the final prints from the printer resonating. And these are some legs I've designed for this machine as a test to see if I can raise the printer up with a fairly solid connection. They have tight tolerances and it took far too much messing around to get them to fit right. Also the webbing in the mold they've used is rotated slightly for each leg. I have no idea why that would be but I've compensated for it anyway. I want to get these onto the printer and test them, but before I do, we need to see what this printer can do already for quality, as is, so I've printed this calibration cube. The next thing I want to do is a little bit crazy. I've modified the legs to be able to use these bamboo skewers. The idea is to raise the printer higher and encourage even more vibration. This is a bamboo printer, and I'm calling this process kebabbing your printer. I've cut the skewers to length and now I can press everything together for all four legs with a dab of super glue in there just to be safe. And now we can mount each leg into the base of the printer and they are an extremely snug fit. This looks really strange and I have no idea what's going to happen when we test this out. Honestly, this could be one of my worst ideas yet. Before we run the test, I want to thank my patrons for helping to support this channel because without you, videos like this would not be possible. And if you'd like to help as well, you can visit my Patreon page in the link below. Maybe it's going to work okay. Let's print the same cube and see what happens. With that test finished and my printer didn't fall to the floor luckily, I'll mount the first solid legs and repeat the test. Now with each of the cubes done, we can compare and I'll use some harsh lighting to help. I don't see any difference. The second cube looks a little bit better in some areas, but it's not related to vibration and the third cube also turned out really nice. And that's great because I prefer to move on knowing that whatever we add to the printer is going to work just as well. These feet are vibration dampening feet and they're available to purchase from Bamboo Lab. And what they describe is that they reduce the amount of vibration being transferred into the bench or into the table, which would impact the printers beside them if you're running more than one. They don't, however, impact the printer quality on the printer with the feet on it. So it claims at least. So the end goal here is to come up with a storage system that attaches to the printer, sits directly below it, and it's going to have tons of room for all of your tools, and best of all, it's always going to be right where you need it. That's the goal at least, and this is just the first step, because I'd like this to be something that acts like a part of the printer, and I can reuse the structure of the printer, it's going to be faster and cheaper to print, and allow for a lot more storage under there as well. If you'd like a copy of the legs shown in the video, not the kebab version, They'll be available for free to any of my patrons and I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you always know when a new video comes out. Check out our progress on this project on Patreon as well and let me know if this is something you're interested in and what features you'd like to see in it. 
Thanks to all my newest patrons for helping to support this channel and make these videos possible. Scott Garcia, Agent Graves, Quark Way, Joshua Hamby, t -Pon, Jordan Newman, Nate Williams, Dave Ballard, Sam Bartos, and Cody Tyrrell. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one. something below the bridge. Whoops.